Welcome to our Wednesday devotional. Sometimes people watch this um, later on on Wednesday and sometimes on another day. But this is designed to be a Wednesday midweek devotional thought. Some of you listening know that I believe Jesus Christ died on Wednesday. I don't believe he died on Friday. If I interpret the scriptures properly, he died on Wednesday. The next day, according to the book of John, was a Sabbath day, but it was a high day. It was a special Sabbath day. Then on Friday, they made all the preparations. Saturday was the regular, normal Sabbath of the week. And then Sunday, he arose. So you have Wednesday night and Thursday as one day, Thursday night and Friday as another day. Friday night and Saturday as another day. Because the Jewish day began at the evening, began at dusk. So whether you believe he died on Friday or Thursday or Wednesday, I want us today to remember that he died. Remember that Jesus Christ literally died. He was crucified. Those that want to say he only swooned and he revived when he was placed in the cool tomb cannot legitimately make that case. He died. He was almost dead when he carried his cross, dragged his cross, couldn't even get it up the hill. And then he hung there for hours and hours. And then when it was time to die, he gave up the ghost. He permitted himself to die. He willingly died. We need to remember that Jesus Christ died and shed his blood for our sinfulness. Oh, what a time that would have been. Remember next, the three days of despair. Can you imagine the despair of the disciples? They'd been with him for over three years. They had followed him. They had trusted in him. They had believed in him. They thought he was the Messiah. And then he died. He was crucified. All their hopes were dashed. All their hopes were destroyed. They did not understand that he'd said he would die although he said it numerous times. They did not understand that he would rise again. These were days of despair. Have you ever felt days of despair? Can you imagine what those three days and three nights were like for those apostles? Can you imagine them as they probably couldn't sleep at night or if they fell asleep, they'd be restless as they wondered if they'd be next? What a horrible time. And then on the first day of the week when the women went to anoint the body of Jesus, the grave was open. The stone was rolled away. He had risen. Let me read to you from Luke. It came to pass in Luke chapter 24. As they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid, they bowed down their faces to the earth. They said unto him, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember, and they began to say, remember how he spake to you when he was yet in Galilee, saying the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful man, be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. Today I want us to remember these things. Remember that he died. It was for you and for me. Remember the despair of the apostles. And then remember the disbelief first. And then the delight of the apostles when they realized he had risen. He'd risen from the dead. We serve a risen Savior. Praise God. No other religion can say that. Thank God we serve a risen Savior. Have a wonderful, blessed day.